Okay guys, this video um, will be a big step up, to be honest. This is, this is difficult, so really, really pay attention. Pause the video if you need to at any point, just to get a few notes down, because uh, this is a big step up. Okay, F5 and F6 we'll go through right now. I could have 2x minus 1 over 3 equals x minus 3, and they'll tell me to solve this equation. Okay, a few things to note before we even begin. Firstly, there are x's on both sides of the equal sign. Okay, so we know we're going to have to deal with that eventually. Now, if that wasn't there, and it said solve 2x minus 1 divided by 3 equals negative 3, and the equals was there, sorry, you'd say, as we did in the video for f2, f3, f4, what do I say last? 2x minus 1 divided by 3 equals negative 3. So the last thing I say is divided by 3. So therefore the first thing I should do here is multiply by 3. There's an x there, but that does not change what we do. So I'm going to multiply by 3, multiply by 3. Divided by 3 multiplied by 3 means that the divide by 3 gets cancelled out. So I'm just left with, on my left hand side, 2x take away 1 equals. Now this is where we've got to be very careful. We know that we multiplied by 3 here. I don't just multiply the x by 3, or I don't just multiply the negative 3 by 3. I multiply both the x and the negative 3 by 3. So x times 3 is 3x. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Okay? I have now, in one step, just given myself clear indication on how to now solve with unknowns on both sides like I did in the previous video. So I'd now look and say, well, what's my smaller coefficient in front of x? The 2 is. So I'm going to see, is that positive 2? Yep. So I'm going to minus 2x minus 2x to both sides, leaving me on this side with negative 1 equals 3x take away 2x is just 1x, just put x if I need to, minus 9 here, then to get x by itself I will add 9, add 9 to get negative, no I won't, to get 8, sorry my apologies, to get 8 equals x, final answer, okay? So the big, big, big step here was our first step. I divided by 3, opposite of that is times by 3, times by 3, but then you must do it to both of them. So let's do a very similar example here. I've got 4x plus 3 over 5 equals 2x plus 3, and they say to solve that. Right, again, let's just say it out loud just so we can make sure we know what the final step was. 4x plus 3 divided by 5 equals 2x plus 3. So the last step I did on this side was to divide by 5, so the first step I'm going to do is to times by 5, times by 5. As we know from the previous example, divided by 5 times by 5 cancels out, leaves me with 4x plus 3 equals, then please do not forget, you need to multiply both the values by 5. So 2x times 5 is 10x, positive 3 times 5 is positive 15. Same thing here, we're now looking just at a simple unknowns on both sides equation. Let's find the, the smaller value, the smaller coefficient in front of x, that's 4. So I will take away 4x, because that's positive, so I do the inverse. Take away 4x, so that becomes 0, don't need to write it down, that's positive 3. 10x take away 4x is 6x plus 15. To get 6x by itself, I will minus 15, minus 15, 3 minus 15 is negative 12, equals 6x, divide by 6, divide by 6, negative 2 equals x, final answer. So that is F5. That is F5. Okay, so pause the video if you need to, to re-look at them. Now, I'm going to do F6. It will take me about two and a half minutes, okay? F6, about two and a half minutes. So, let's start here. 
2 x take away 1 over 3 equals x plus 2 over 2. Right, if I didn't put the over 2 for that second expression there, then it would be the exact same as f5, but I did. However, my first step, I'm going to ignore the fact that I did. So using f5's example here, the last instruction on this side was to divide by 3, so I do the inverse, which is multiply by 3. So I multiply by 3, multiply by 3. Again, I'm going to ignore the fact that the 2 is right there. Divide by 3 times by 3 cancels out. So on this side, I've got 2x minus 1 equals, again, we're ignoring the, negative, the divide by 2 there, times by 3 to the x and by the 2. So that will become 3x plus, and then 3 times 2 is 6. But now I remember I have got the divide by 2 here still. So I need to write divide by 2. So my times by 3 here just affected my numerator. I then look and say, well, I've still got to get rid of my divide by 2. So therefore, I do the inverse of that, which will affect this side. So then I would times by 2, because I want to get rid of the divide by 2, times by 2. 2x two times 2 is 4x. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 equals, and then divide by 2 times by 2 cancels out, so I'm just left with here 3x plus 6. And now I can solve the equation just like I did in the previous video. Okay, so I just minus 3x minus 3x on both sides because it's smaller, leaves me with x minus 2 equals 6, then I would add 2, add 2, x would equal 8. Okay, so the only difference between f6 and f5 is that second step. The first step is the same. The second step, you just need to watch out because you've, got all, you've also got to find the inverse of divide by 2 here. Right, the last example of this video, take about a minute. 2x plus 9 over 4 equals 4x plus 9 over 5. Same thing, I'm going to ignore the divide by 5, find the inverse of my last instruction, which is divide by 4. So I times by 4, times by 4 on both sides leaves me with the left hand side as 2x plus 9 equals then times by 4 for that and for that so it'll be thir oh, no it won't it'll be 16x plus 36 but then I must remember I've still got the divide by 5 to write down here I then find the inverse of divide by 5 so times by 5 times by 5 that will be 10x plus 45 equals Divide by 5 times by 5 cancels out. 16x plus 36. Okay, then I just solve the equation, which is the smaller coefficient, the 10x. So minus 10x, minus 10x disappears. 45 equals 6x plus 36. Then I would minus 36, minus 36. I don't think this is going to be particularly nice. 9 equals 6x, I believe, unless I've done some something weird with the maths here, but I believe that is absolutely correct. Then I'm going to divide by 6, divide by 6. Now, either your answer is going to be 9 over 6 or 1.5. Okay? Either one of them will be accepted, or if you want 3 over 2, if you want to simplify the, the, the fraction. Okay? So, hopefully all that's clear. And, oh, you can't actually see that last little bit. Sorry. There you go. Apologies. Okay, so that'd be the final answer there. Okay, so hopefully that's clear. And good luck with the work.